It may sound strange, but concerns over the coronavirus have doctors here telling folks to reconsider how they say hello. Nikki Schenfeld spoke with a doctor who explains why. Dr. Kalani Brady is on the State Epidemiologist Advisory Committee. A Native Hawaiian himself, he's actually stopped greeting people with a hug and a kiss and says other people need to start doing the same. A common way to say hello and goodbye is now being seen as a way to spread germs. We had epidemics that decimated Hawaii's people in the 19th century. Influenza was a perfect example of that, where we would share the breath of life, ha, in greeting one another. And of course, we're inhaling the influenza virus at the time. One of the big problems with COVID-19 is you can have it and not know it. It can take days for symptoms to appear. You may have a slight cough or runny nose, which you assume is allergies or a cold, and you can spread the virus at that point because you're communicable, because you're infectious, but then you may get the disease itself later on in the course of the disease. As for the Oahu man who tested positive, Dr. Brady says the fact that he's being quarantined at home is a good sign. They're at home to protect people from being transmitted the coronavirus obviously is safe for this patient with apparently a mild case of the disease to be at home and monitored by a doctor over the phone. Dr. Brady says from what he's seen, most cases involve being in close contact within three to six feet of someone who has it and near them for several minutes. But he says it's more common to have mild symptoms. It does not generally kill. It can kill elderly, especially with immunocompromise, with lung diseases or heart disease, but it doesn't generally kill. And what we know now is that it probably doesn't affect children nearly as bad, for example, as influenza virus does. Dr. Brady says it could take up to a year for a vaccine to be created. So in the meantime, he suggests either waving doing an air high five or a simple bow, and that will help keep the community safe from spreading the virus. From Honolulu, Nikki Schoenfeld, KJ12 News, working for Hawaii.